So, once again, we are back. My name is Zach, and I'm joined by Billy Williams, your favorite diesel technician. Uh, recently, uh, we're, we're going into our tech calls again today. Yep. Uh, recently, you had a conversation with Kurt, um, not a customer of ours, but he needed some advice. He had re- just recently purchased uh, a new truck, um, and he discovered something really odd, just for my taste, that when he would start up the truck, it was burning through glow plugs. Right. I think at the point that you had talked to him, he had gone through about three sets of glow plugs, which abnormal to say the least. Yeah. Um, and this was one of the reasons when we go through these calls, we occasionally um, run across one that we think has uh, some additional value by putting them out there because it's a situation that a lot of people run into. Um, he had purchased a, a truck that already had a bypass uh, kit on it. Where, um, and for those of you out there, rather than using the controller, which automatically clicks on and off, um, they uh, rerouted it and just had a push button in inside. A lot of people do that, mm-hmm. um, and we actually sell a kit for it as well. There were two things that came out in the call, um, and it'll come out. But the um, just real quick, what what application was it again that he was working with? Uh, this was a uh, Ford uh, IDI, an older uh, oh, seven three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Square and, bodies, and essentially, it, it was a situation where, as you say, he was just going through uh, glow plugs almost uh, on a daily basis, and. Right. Um, so in the call, we discuss several things, um, and, and we talk about this, and um, well, uh, let's take a look at the call. All right, go ahead. Let's see it. This is Kurt. Yeah, Mr. S- uh, my name is Billy Williams. I work in the tech department of diesel care. And oh, yeah. I uh, was asked to give you a call. You've got a 93 IDI you're working on, and you were having some glow yep. plug issues. We are. And, uh, so I was calling because I saw that you guys have like a remote, um, manual kit or whatever, Right, your mm-hmm. upgrade kit for it, mm-hmm. which looking at it, I mean, it's basically what I've done already on the truck. Um, but we're still having issues. And so before I went and ordered your guys's kit, I wanted to make sure I'm not going to have the same issues. So, we just got this truck. Um, when I got it, the glow plugs were dead. Mm-hmm. So we went and put a new set of glow plugs in it. It had the stock controller, mm-hmm. um, but they had already put a manual push button in it. Okay. Um, so we got maybe three starts out of the truck and it then wouldn't start again. Okay. So pulled the glow plugs out. They were all dead. So we, at that point, eliminated the controller, did a new solenoid or new relay, um, all new glow plugs again. I've got new harnesses, stuff like that, and put them in, same thing. We got two, maybe three starts out of it. All the glow plugs are dead. We have now put a third set in, and it has done the same thing. Okay. So all the glow plugs have been the same. They're all the auto light 1108. Right. Um, so now looking at auto lights site, I see where they're talking that these are a 10 and a half volt glow plug. So are we putting too much power to them? I mean, we're putting straight battery power to them. Um, and are we going to have the same issue if I did like your guys' kit? Well, let me ask you a couple of questions here. Um, okay. The first off, um, your what's the average amount of time that you're having to hold that button in during starting? I mean, is it? We seconds? were doing maybe five to eight seconds. Okay. All right. Um, and has anyone? Um, taking like a voltmeter and, and just made sure that there's not voltage at those lines when the button's not engaged. Yep. Yep. And that's what we thought. Maybe the first time we 
so the truck started, we loaded onto a trailer and then by the time we got home, it wouldn't start. And so I thought, well, maybe, maybe solenoid or relay stuck, you know, controllers messed up, something like that. So that's when we started replacing parts. Mm-hmm. But now at this point, everything's new. Right. Um, you know, we have tested to make sure that they're not staying on, make sure they're not cycling back on when the engine's running, you know, different things like that. And, or is it just these auto lights are complete garbage and, you know, it's just, it's odd. It's every single one of them. Um, you know, I like, this is a basic system. Right, <laughs> like, I don't right. know why we're having these kind of issues with it or is there something else going on with the truck that you know is causing these you know i mean it's at this point i'm at a loss on this and you know glow plugs are starting to get expensive sure well first off let me let me um and and i don't want to come across as contrary but i i I think your 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 um engaging time um is a little high Uh, A normal relay, a normal glow plug relay would not keep them on for five to eight seconds. Right. Um, They typically cycle and, and, um, and, and you're obviously up North. So you're dealing with, um, uh, you know, more of a need for glow plugs, but, um, but generally they, the, the, they cycle in three second cycles. So, you know, if you ever get in and your wait to start light is on and then it goes Mm -hmm. off. Uh, right. that's, that's a typically a three second cycle and then it'll go off for generally one to two seconds and then it'll cycle again. Okay. Um, so I think you're dealing with a combination of two things. I think you're, you're, um, you're using some, um, some of the cheaper brand of glow plugs, um, Really, what you want to look for in a glow plug is is what uh, the technology is called duotherm, where it, it basically it has kind of two elements in it. And that's I was I was reading on those, and so that's you know when I saw your guys' kit, I had asked when I called the first time, uh, I had asked if it was those glow plugs or if it's just the standards. You know, like I didn't want to order this kit and then end up with you know the same exact shit that I'm buying. Right. Already. I, I, I um, understand. And, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to give you full disclosure here. Um, because glow plugs have been one of the things that have been very difficult to acquire. Uh, oh, are they? <laughs> well, uh, is, is, as far as, you know, manufacturing on auto parts stopped for a couple of years. Yep. And now that's, they're, they're still taking care of the gas guys, diesel guys. We're the last dog to the bowl. So, yep it'll be middle of next year for they'll start ramping up production. So I can't say and, this. And that's, I wasn't sure if it was something like that with these auto lights, you know, like I do own the shop. And, uh, so I am very familiar with quality of parts changing and availability and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, would, not I, I personally, I, I, what I would do there, well, there's, there's, there's a couple of ways you, you, you can go about this. Um, one, um, I, I think getting a better quality glow plug would be good. And I think okay. limiting my, uh, engaging time to about three seconds. If you okay. want to, you know, add, um, I mean, if you're a belt and suspenders kind of guy, you can add a fuse in that line Okay, that it'll blow the fuse for it blows the glow plugs. Fuses are a lot cheaper than a set of glow plugs. Yep. Yep. So I think, um, I would be concerned to make sure that my button, if it's, if you, there, there are cheap buttons out there and then there are switches, whatever you want to call it. I call them button. Yep. Um, yep. there are cheap ones and then there are some, so you don't want that button to not fully disengage and then allow some voltage through there. Right. Yep. Um, but if you've checked it and you're, and you're not showing volts, I would, um, um, I would be inclined to put a new set of glow plugs in. I would put an inline fuse Okay. and I would 
put me a little sticker or something near the button that just says three seconds only, or, you know, if you have multiple yeah. drivers or, or if it's a customer, I uh, haven't left the shop yet. Yeah. So. I, I, I would, <laughs> I would, you know, engage it, you know, in, in three second cycles and, okay. and from there you should be solid if you, um, and, and, and the only other thing, and I have done this for one customer, he wanted me to install a little red light that, oh, yep. that I put above the button so he could tell when it was engaged and disengaged. I don't know how much safety precautions you want here, but I think the biggest thing you're missing is, uh, uh, an inline fuse and just, uh, okay. and busting that engaging time up to a couple of cycles. Okay. We'll try that. See where it gets us. Yeah, that's it's a new truck to us, you know, and uh you know, I so this one's got the bank sidewinder kit on it too. Okay. And so I wasn't sure if, you know, we're now using a wrong glow plug because of that, you know, and this is causing something different, you know. I mean like I I was grasping for any straw. <laughs> I I think it's it's more um it, it's a combination of maybe pushing the engaging time with a glow plug that's maybe on the lower end of the spectrum yep. as far as quality. Yep, that's fine. Um, yep, that's fine. So that that's what I would I would recommend um and um you know but if if nothing else if you get that fuse in there, you know, you can um um you know and and you probably a 40 amp fuse maybe um okay. you know um just so you'll get that to burn out before um you know before you burn out a set of glow plugs right all right we'll give that a try and see where it gets us all right mr sides well uh, if we can help Alrighty. you in any way uh, my name's billy and we appreciate the call and just re- and uh thanks for calling yep sounds good thank you take care bye all right bye So there you go. Uh, you were able to help Kurt there. Uh, just to recap for the audience, what ended up being the, the root of the problem? What ended up being the solution? Well, I, I, I think we're looking at, at um, two or three different things that are, are kind of simultaneously happening. One, when we talked to Kurt and he said that he was holding it for five to eight seconds, I think. A little bit too long. That's a little bit too long. A typical relay kicks off after about a second and a half, two seconds, okay. and then it'll have a cool down period, and then it'll uh, uh, ignite again. Um, so, from talking to him, that was uh, a little bit of an issue, um, and then um, recommended that he, you know, maybe go to a different glow plug. Uh, we mentioned in the video uh, the Duotherm technology and. Mm-hmm. And you can Google that and if you want to learn everything there is about glow plugs. But essentially, a glow plug is a heating element. And just like the when you fire up your electric uh, range and it starts glowing, that's a heating element. Same thing's in your motor. Well, the thing is, is there's limitations to how long you can make that glow red. And so, Kurt, was we, we, we discussed limiting the time. Um, which I think he'll do go into a little bit better quality glow plug. And I made a recommendation and, uh, before we get a lot of comments about it, we don't include a, um, fuse. In I was kit. hoping you were going to mention, mention this. I thought this was a really neat little hack, if you will, to protect yourself from having to go through glow plugs. If you, if you have this problem, well, you know, if there are people out there that are not concerned about money, they're not watching this video. Okay. <laughs> So, do you want to change a two dollar fuse, or do you want to change a hundred dollars worth of glow plugs? Right. So, so you know, you you, and this this is not just for glow plug systems. I mean, your 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 car is full of relays and fuses for a reason. But in this case, where you're adding a component that's not OEM, um, it might be a good idea to put you know a forty amp fuse or you know something along those lines. Just you, as a safety precaution. Just as a safety precaution, and if you do, if you're using the push button and and you have someone, if the button sticks or if someone uses it too long, 
you just pop a fuse out, put another one in, but you've saved your glow plugs. Right. So um, if you're in a situation uh, like Kurt, um, I would recommend you uh, looking that as an option, especially if it's a vehicle that they have multiple different drivers. That to me, for example, if you're out there and you have your truck, you know how long to hold the button in because you do it every morning. Um, yeah. But if you have a tow truck that has five or six drivers and, you know, and, and, you know, when you lose that control, that's when that fuse really kind of helps. Right. Um, so I, I would recommend where you have a, you know, a daily driver that has multiple drivers, you might want to add that fuse, uh, in addition to this kit. Yeah. That uh, and the post-it note that just says, Hey, three seconds, that's it. Yeah. And finding employees that, uh, will actually read them. So, um, that's something that we can't help them out with. You got to do that on your own. Uh, I wouldn't be on YouTube if I was that smart. <laughs> so, uh, well, but that's, that's the uh, gist of the call, and uh, good luck, Kurt. We appreciate uh, you allowing us to use uh, your information for training purposes, and again, I uh, hope it works out for him. Yep, we'll see you next time. Bye. Highway. Yes, I'm built out and bound to go. I'm going to leave, leave here running, because walking is most too slow. All right, back to one.